everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird. Come on. Archie. <laughs> So if you saw my P.O. Box haul the other day, you would know that uh, Archie and I are officially uh, beauty gurus now because we got our first makeup sponsorship. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Yes, that's right. I uh, did one video with Archie doing my makeup and uh, next minute we end up getting sent a huge, huge PR parcel full of makeup. This is from a company called Sam Marcel. Okay, no. Ugh. I thought I'd be able to wear earrings today, but Archie has other plans. So if you don't know, Sam Marcel Paris is a luxurious makeup brand, which is made in America. Now I thought that was a bit funny that they're called Sam Marcel Paris, but it's made in America. But anyway, they were so kind as to send me a huge collection with eight lipsticks, 13 liquid lipsticks, an eyeshadow palette, and a highlighting palette. Now, I have honestly never seen so much makeup in my life. If you're new to my channel and you don't know, I'm not very big on makeup, or at least I haven't been up until the past few weeks. I started YouTube maybe six months ago, and back then it used to just be a bit of eyeliner and some mascara, and that was it. Absolutely nothing else. People started saying to me, you know, if, if you're uh, on YouTube, you should maybe put in a bit more effort to make yourself look presentable. However, I'm not particularly talented in the makeup department. So I, ow, 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 a very, very talented makeup artist called Glam by Lauren X. She followed me and she did a beautiful Archie inspired makeup look. And I was honestly so inspired by her passion for makeup and her incredible talent and also her journey because she has <laughs> gone from this to this just in a matter of like a year or two. When I saw her and how talented she was, I was really, really inspired and I have spent the past few weeks recreating all of the looks on her Instagram. Now, the first time I did it, it was a little bit of a disaster. However, as you can see today, my skills are a lot better than they were then. Sam Marcel has been so kind as to allow me to do a giveaway today. So after you watch this video and you see me testing out this makeup, if you like the makeup, you can head over to my Instagram and you can enter our giveaway. They will be giving three of my followers their entire lipstick collection. That's the lipstick and liquid lipstick. So it's a pretty big giveaway. So uh, yeah, head over to my Instagram and also check down below and you can read all of the ways to enter. So without further ado, I'm gonna tell you guys how I achieved this look. I don't know why you're bite. Why are you biting my ear? There's nothing in there. I haven't hidden any almonds in there for you. Just behave. This is called the I Want It All eyes, face, and lips collection. Now this is, uh, I believe, 390 US dollars worth of makeup, which is almost, I don't know, 500 or something Australian dollars. So it's, it's a lot. And the very first thing that I noticed when I opened the box was the packaging is so luxurious. Honestly, I have, I don't think I've ever seen makeup packaging this luxurious before. It's all beautiful and shiny and really, really solid plastic and metal. And honestly, it's amazing. Like take one look at this lipstick, for example. This is magnetized. So it slots back into place with a, a matte magnets, magnets. The liquid lips, they have this beautiful gold lid on them. And the highlighter palette, oh, just you wait, just you wait. Prepare to be blinded. Stop it. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? It is such a beautiful palette. Now, I've been looking for some good highlight for a while. The only highlight that I have used, I only uh, bought highlight a couple of months ago. It's the first time I ever used it. I bought uh, the Mary Luminizer by The Balm and that was expensive. Like, very, very, very expensive. So, this particular highlighting palette that Sam Marcel sent me, this is a... Whoop, this is a $30 highlight palette, and it has six different colors of the highlight in here. So I think that is very, very reasonable. When I saw the price, I didn't actually have very high expectations for it. I honestly thought to myself, based on what I paid for the Mary Luminizer, and that was just one, I thought to myself, okay, well, obviously to get a good highlight, you need to pay a lot of money. But when I used this, I was shook. 
I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Now, to be fair, I only used one shade. However, what we're going to do now is we're going to swatch some of these things and you can see the full spectrum of colors and you can pass judgment for yourself. For those of you that know more about makeup than I do, I would really, really like it if you weigh in in the comment section below because for me, looking at this stuff, I will give my first impressions. You guys, you might have a more trained eye than I do, so you might notice something that I don't. I did my brows and I did my foundation and my blush and my contour. I left everything else with a blank canvas. So the first thing that I did, I took this stunning eyeshadow palette that they sent me. Now this palette has 12 shades in it. The first thing that I did, I went down with a base of Deja Vu. I put that kind of around the crease area, blended it up toward my brow. Then I took Risqué with a pencil brush and I kind of deepened up the outer V of my eyes. Are you right, Archie? Do you think it looks nice? What do you reckon? Burbo.exe has stopped working. Okay, if you're just gonna, yeah, right? <laughs> so like I said, I took Deja Vu and I deepened up the outer V area and then I blended it and buffed it to high heaven. Then I took Touche and I put that all over the lid and then I took a fluffy brush to then sort of blend that out toward the outer edge. I then took Deja Vu again and put it underneath just on my lower lash line and then I buffed that out as much as I could to make it sort of really really soft under there to add a little bit of definition. Then once I was finished with the eyeshadow palette, I went in with this Sam Marcel mascara. Now I was honestly blown away by this mascara. I, I cannot begin to explain how good I think that it was. Now I purposefully didn't curl my lashes because I wanted to see if this mascara would give me any curl and it did. It really really did. It lifted my lashes, it separated and fanned them out really really nicely. They weren't clumpy in any way at all but it did add a lot of length. So this is going to be a go-to mascara for me and the packaging or the component as the beauty gurus like to call it it's really, really nice. It's very, very heavy, very solid. What do you reckon? Look, Archie won't be able to chew through it because I actually, I don't think it's plastic. Like it kind of feels like metal almost. I think it might actually be metal. This 100% I can absolutely recommend this to you guys. This mascara is only 16 US dollars, which I mean, I think that's fantastic because this is from Ico London. I think I paid $50 for this and it is so extremely average. So to get something like this for $16, that's amazing. So absolutely guys, I recommend that one to you for sure. So anyway, after I did my mascara with that, then I just popped on some winged liner and some lashes and then... And then I went on to the lips. So the shade that I took on my lips was Oh dear, I've lost it because they gave me so many and now I can't remember which one it was. Ah, this one. So this is called Belle. Now this was such a beautiful shade. It's quite pinky and I popped that one on because I thought I didn't quite want to go for a nude lip because sometimes a nude lip can kind of wash me out a little bit. So I just put that one on for a little bit of color. And then I took this liquid lipstick shade. Now this is called Celine and I didn't realize just how pigmented that this was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more like a colored gloss. And when I put it on, it completely erased the color underneath. And I've had this on for about an hour and a little bit now. I haven't drunk anything, I haven't eaten anything, but it is still sitting in place very nicely. So I can uh, attest to the fact that these lipsticks are very, very pigmented. Mate. Okay, yes, all right. Now, we're gonna swatch some of these, as Archie has pointed out to me. I have to start swatching some different colors now. Now, there's a lot to swatch here, guys. So, uh, let's, I guess, just uh, roll up our sleeves and get into it. We'll start off with Jolie. Jolie is a really nice sort of pink color. Something that I did notice about this liquid lipstick, it, the applicator, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you exactly, but the applicator is thin on one side, but then wide. So I was able to get really, really nice even coverage on my lips in one very quick swipe. So I loved that. That is such a nice sort of baby pink, but it's also got a little bit of 
more warmth to it. Sometimes baby pink can be quite cool, but I think that is really, really beautiful. So then the one that I have on at the moment, which is Celine. Then we've got Claudine. That's lovely, that is such a nice colour. Now this one, this is called Clara, and I'm not entirely sure if I'd be able to pull off this colour. It's quite brown. See, it's a very brown shade. So it's something that, I mean, I'll give it a go. Obviously I'll swatch it on my lips and we'll see what it looks like, but I don't know if I'll get much use out of that shade, but I do know a lot of people that absolutely love those sort of darker, more sort of brownish shades. And then here's another one. This is called Colette. This is another one that's quite dark brown. No, 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 no. Wow, that is a very, very dark shade. Now this is a colour that I'm very excited about. This is called Rue. Now this is a kind of like a, a it is red, but it's more on the cooler side. This is a colour that I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of. That is such a beautiful red. I almost feel like, yeah, it, it's, it's not a, a hot red, but it is a really, really nice shade. And I think for my skin tone, that's a sort of colour that'll look really, really nice. Then we have a slightly darker red, which is called Rouge. So the other one was called Rue, and this one is called Rouge. If you uh, have a look under Archie's wings here, this is a perfect Archie shade. Oh, that is so lovely. Now, something I'm noticing between all of these liquid lips, they are so, so luxurious. Like they go on so smooth and even they're amazing. I'm so happy. That colour is just stunning. Next up we have Bijou. Bijou. I would love to know what some of these words mean. I have to look it up. Are they names? I guess that some of them are names and some of them are colours and I mean they're all, ow, they're all French words so I'll have to, no Archie, no, stop it. This looks almost like a purpley kind of shade. Oh uh, yeah it is. That's really nice. That's kind of like a vampy purple. I feel like that would look lovely on a night out. Oh, stop, stop. Here's another purple. This one's called, this one's called Chloe. Oh, wow. That's a lovely, lovely shade of purple. I wear a lot of purple eye looks. I'm sure I'll get some good use out of these lovely purple liquid lips. This one is called Juliet, and this I'm so excited for. I've been looking for a shade like this for a long time, but I haven't been able to find one. Oh, yes. This is so nice. Look at that. That is lovely. Now these are so, so opaque, so pigmented. Now the lipstick on my lips, Archie has been going at my face for the past few minutes, so I'm interested. Has it moved? N no, no it hasn't. So that's, that's a good sign. If Archie can't pull this off my lips and that's a very good sign. There's also a couple of lighter pink shades. This is called Fleur. Fleur de la Coeur. Oh, that is such a nice pink. Now, these two, this one on the end here, which was Jolie, that's kind of like a nudie pink and this one is more of a dusty rose pink. That is lovely. This one is called Rose. Okay, this is a really hot pink and that looks lovely. This is almost like reminds me of a Barbie doll kind of pink. And then the last liquid lip is called Ella. And this is kind of like a cooler pink tone. Oh wow, that, that is lovely. That kind of reminds me of Girl About Town from MAC, which I used to wear all the time. So there you have it. There are the 13 liquid lip colours that are so opaque. Some of these ones that I went a little bit heavy handed on, they're taking a little while to dry down. But once they have dried down, I'm going to see how they last when I kind of smudge them a bit. On with the regular lipsticks. You know you're being such a pain. You are being such, such a pain. So the first shade that I'm going to test is Coco. 
This is a very, very dark brown shade. That's very, very dark. Ooh, look at that. We have Angelique. This is kind of like a dark red, a reddish brown. That is a stunning color. We have Josette. Now this is a very cool toned brown. This one seems a little bit more opaque than the other two. And it's a little bit sort of, it's actually gliding on much smoother than some of the other colors were. Man, I can't get over this packaging, it's so nice. The next one is Isabella. I love the name Isabella. Oh, and that is a really nice color. Okay, that one took two coats, but that's a very, very nice red. There's Violet, which I'm so excited to swatch because, like I said, I love purple lipstick. That's beautiful. What a nice shade. Next up is Belle, which is the shade that I'm wearing on my lips right now. Oh, that is so smooth and creamy. So smooth, so creamy, such a lovely color. This is going to be a go-to color for me. I feel like these kind of pinky, peachy lip colors suit me, so I will get a lot of use out of that. This one's called Ombre, and it's like a nude. That's a really, really nice nude. And then the last one is Angeline, and this is again a nude, but a little bit lighter. And once again, very, very creamy. So those colors are all absolutely beautiful. So see all these colors all over my arms? All you have to do to enter the giveaway, just head over to my Instagram and you will see all the instructions and you can win all of those. There's 13 liquid lips, eight regular lipsticks. So uh, yeah, head over and check out the giveaway. Time to, oh my goodness, how? I don't even know. How do people swatch things? Like seriously, how am I supposed to do this? <laughs> I have more eyeshadow to swatch and I have highlight to swatch. Um, hmm. What am I gonna do? I, I guess I have a, I have a fiance. <laughs> very good. Uh, we share a very, very similar skin tone as well. <laughs> here, look, who's that? Look who's here. Okay, Daniel, would you like to come come a bit closer? If you were Sam, you would be presenting me with your eyeballs right now. <laughs> put it on, put it on. <laughs> what have I signed up for? Archie, stop, stop. Archie's not going to. <sighs> I'll just try them in order across like this. We have. Creme de la creme. Creme de la creme. So I guess for a swatch, I'll just, I don't know, are you meant to do it a couple of times? With your, maybe I'll just kind of do like this a few times just to get it on. Okay. Hit me up. <laughs> okay. Oop. So that, you can't even see it. That is, <laughs> that is a very, it's just like a, a, I suppose it's kind of like a base shade. It's just for us, for our skin tone, you can't really see that because it's basically the same skin tone. Dan, show them your face so they can see your skin. Dan has the same complexion as me. He's a redhead with freckles. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there. <laughs> so that one is just like a very, very, oh, my eye is leaking. is Bijou. Bijou. Okay, ready? Mm, here. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. That is such a pretty shade. It really picks up the flecks of light. It's like a rose gold kind of shade. That is lovely. When I move his arm like this. Next up, I'll take Ooh La La. Ooh, la, la. This is one that I really wanted to play with, but I didn't. Oh, that is so nice. That is rose gold. That's really, really rosy. That's a beautiful kind of metallic-y, 
This one is more glitter, like shimmery, but that one is really metallic. That is lovely. Then I'll take Touché, which is what I have all over my lids right now. So once again, that's more of a metallic-y kind of shade. That's really, really nice. The color payoff on that one isn't quite as good as it was on Ooh La La, but hey, I was able to build that up, so that's fine. The next one will be A La Mode. A La Mode. A La Mode. Now this is what I used as a brow highlight and inner corner highlight. That's a really kind of peachy metallic shade. That's lovely. Then we'll take Encore. Encore. I'm really excited about this one. Oh, that's nice. That is so lovely. So far those two have the most color payoff. That is beautiful. That one is more of a shimmer than a metallic like this one was. But that's lovely. That also would have been really nice all over the lid. Deja Vu, which is what I put as a base shade. Now, I found that this one was extremely pigmented and really easy to blend. Okay, it's not coming off in the swatch as well as it came off on my lid. It's looking a bit patchy there. But that was just a really, really nice base shade and it blended out so nicely and there was no fallout whatsoever when I tapped into the pan and then popped it on my lid. I did my foundation and everything first and I was a little bit worried about doing that because I thought that there would be some fallout, but there was none. So I was really, really happy with that. Next up, we'll do Risqué, Risqué. which is what I put on the outer corner of my lids. Again, that one doesn't really come off very well as a swatch. Yeah, it's not really swatching very well, but as you would have seen in the video, that one was really easy to blend out and was very, very pigmented on my lids, but it's not swatching as well. Then I'll go into Chic. Chic. Chic is like a, again, a goldy kind of, oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna put this one, uh, hmm. come, come this way. Oof, look at that. That is so pigmented. That's another metallic shade. That is really nice. It's more of a, a cooler gold than what these ones, they're really rosy gold, but that's more of a classic kind of gold. Then we'll do C'est la vie, C'est la vie, which is like a bronze shade. Oh my goodness. Come on. You better work, honey. <coughs> <laughs> wow! Wow, look at that! Oh my goodness, that, that one has been the best by far. These metallics, these three here, they are absolutely stunning. Oh! <gasps> ah! We've, oh, we've had a liquid lip accident. No! Not on my Yes Style top! This is my top from Yes Style and I love it, but it's got liquid lipstick on it now. It didn't dry down fast enough. The next shade is Coquette. Coquette. This is like a darker, yeah, darker kind of shimmer. Okay, that one, that was one, I only went in once on the palette, so I'll do it again. Oh, that, okay, that's much better. That's really nice. Come here. Come. Archie, get out of it. <laughs> and then the last one is called Silhouette, Silhouette, and it just looks like a, kind of like a brown black. Ooh. Oh yeah, uh, is it, what color would you call, stop making out with the bird. <laughs> What, what color would you call that? Is that black? It's kind of a gray. It's like a gray. Char like, yeah, like a charcoal gray. A muted charcoal, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. There are the swatches of the eye colors. Archie, which one do you like the most? No, none of them? Let's stop showing up your bum. Which, which color? Which one do you like best? What? Oh, he likes my lipstick best. <laughs> so there you have, oh, oh, and the highlights. Wait, I was about to say, there you have it guys. That's, no, come back. I need you for the highlight. So the palette here actually has the names written on the palette, which I really appreciate. So the first color is, uh, come over this side. So you need my I need your other arm. So we'll go into this, I don't even, how, how do I say this word? So, how would you say that? So, soy yellow? Soil? Soleil? Soleil. Anyway, Soleil. we'll do that one first. Oh, okay, that's a really, really nice shade. Too that's well. a lovely, lovely color. It's kind of like a very light gold. Then we'll go into Clem, 
which is the one that I used. Creme. It's a little bit more sheer than that first one, but I just found that it was like a nice sort of warm glow and it wasn't too overpowering, but it was still there. Then we'll go into Très Chic. Chic. Now this, I'm not sure how I could work with this because this, I feel like this will be a little bit too dark for me. That would be really, really nice on my eyes, like as an inner corner highlight or something like that. Okay. But I don't... I don't think I could use it on my highlight here because I think it's a little bit too dark for me. Then I'll go into this... Dor. Dor. This seems really pretty. I think this one would complement my skin. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh, that's really nice. It's like a peachy kind of highlight. That's beautiful. Then we'll go into Amour. Amour. That's Amore. It's very Excuse me. pink. Where are we up to? Here. Oh, that's so nice. It's like a rosy, rosy shade. That's beautiful. And then the last one is called Voila. Voila. Oh, okay. You like that one, Archie? There we go. And that's Voila. So, uh, which one do you like, Archie? Don't bite me. <laughs> Don't do it. So I actually, I think this one, which was Tre Chic, is absolutely stunning, but maybe not for me as a highlighting shade. But the others, I think I could use all of those. Specifically these, Pac so. Specifically. Specifically. Thank you, Daniel, you're dismissed. <laughs> Look at her. That's that's a that's a lot of swatches. <laughs> Get it out of it. That's everything. They they are my swatches. Look, I, I kind of I want to go in with a little bit more highlight actually, and I swatched that Soleil Soleil shade on Daniel, and I'm gonna just pop some of that on again. Oof. No such thing as too much highlight. That is what I have learned from Nikki Tutorials. That is stunning. I love that shade so much. So uh, my takeaway from this whole process is the highlighting palette is absolutely fantastic. $30 for those six stunning shades. So good. The mascara was fantastic too. I'm really, really impressed by the mascara. I have paid a lot more than that for way, way worse. And that was a fantastic, fantastic formula. So I do love that. These lipstick shades, I feel like there's a shade there for everyone. And I'm ah. really, uh, okay, there, there's no green, but aside from birds, I think that there's a shade for most people there. And the lipsticks are in the most luxurious packaging ever. So that's that's about it, guys. Thank you so much to Sam Marcel for these incredible products. I feel like you've kind of set me up with a really, really good starting point to becoming a beauty guru on YouTube. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. If you haven't already, join the flock. Head over to my Instagram as well and you can see all the T's and C's for the giveaway and three of my followers are going to win this entire lip collection. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!